So yeah, I've been animal based for uh, probably the past year or so, and uh, it's been it's been really great. And uh, you know, not experiencing bloating or any issues really. Ener- energy's up, and uh, just feeling satiated pretty much all the time with uh, with those kind of meals. Mm. But uh, I just had this question because I saw a couple of I, I've read some conflicting information about food combinations and specifically meat and fruit and uh, how those two shouldn't uh, maybe shouldn't be paired together or I mean me personally when I eat meat I love to have fruit afterwards because it's like a little sweet treat a little dessert and it doesn't do anything for me as far as my uh, I don't don't get any kind of stomach issues I don't feel any kind of negative effects Um, and but I've seen stuff about like uh, how that could um, like you know cause some uh, some issues with, with, if you combine the wrong foods and I just yeah. kind of wanted to hear your, your guys uh, your take on that yeah thank you so much Jeff no we, we we really appreciate this question and I think it's I think it's a very valid question I think it's a fair question because I think it's it's actually logically sound if we think about combinations of, of food pairs and what they do to hunger and satiety and downstream effects of that you know metabolically and on our pathways to question this right because if we if we just take fruit and meat out of the equation for a second and look at their constituent parts, which is like protein, fats, and carbohydrates, and in the non-natural states, right, in the processed food states, if we have like fat, protein, and carbohydrates together, like let's say in ice cream, we've got the perfect like hyperpalatable food, right, that disrupts all kinds of stuff that's going on. It's, I don't know about you, but if I start a pint of ice cream, I'm probably going to eat the whole thing because it's designed to be very much like that, right? It's tough because it's a perfect combination of those things that create the storm of hyperpalatability. So I think the idea behind that questioning of like, do we eat these foods together and and what are they doing? And we get into deep complex pathways, the Randall cycle and fructation and all of this stuff that's thrown out there in this space a lot of the time. And I think honestly, we might be overthinking it because it makes sense when we talk about these things from a processed food perspective. It makes a whole lot of sense. I don't think it's a good idea at all to combine very calorie dense fat with very high amounts of sugar and high fructose corn syrup in the form of processed foods. It's a recipe for disaster, right? It's a recipe for overeating. It's a recipe for gut inflammation, irritation, oxidative stress, and robbing us of nutrition and and basically our vitality. But Let's phrase that again for a second here and look at meat and fruit together. I mean, I think what you're, I'm hearing you say, and I you know, know the team and myself here support this idea that your intuition and your results are speaking for themselves so far, that nature provides food in this wonderful whole package like fruit and like meat that when eaten together is A, is very hard to overdo. It's, you know, eating a ribeye with some pineapple on, you know, on the side afterwards is very different to going through a family size bag of chips or a pint of ice cream, right? Because it's very satiating. The cofactors, the enzymes, the entourage effect of everything that is in these real foods is very, very different from the processed food equivalent. And I think we're making inferences from the processed food equivalents and applying them to ideas here that you know don't actually hold much weight, especially not anecdotally and from the thousands of people we're seeing thriving with the addition of these two foods in combination. The thing that you can do if you really wanna validate this, of course, is you can continue to get blood work and all of that stuff, but not lose sight of your subjective experience. Like, how do you look? How do you feel? How are you performing? What's your body telling you about this? It sounds like it's working really well for you. And it just sounds like you're curious. And I and we love that. We're curious. That's why we're here. We're doing this, right? So you're curious. You've heard this 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 thing in in that's been, you know, the seed of doubt maybe that's been planted. And that's great. It's challenging your thinking. And this is where we stand on it. We don't see that it's a problem at all to consume, you know, meat and fruit together. Um, you know, our good friend, Mr. Saladino, has talked about this ad nauseum over on his podcast channel and on his podcast. So we would just consider that nature, if you don't mess with nature, it won't mess with you. And you're eating two of the most wonderfully nutrient dense, bountiful foods that nature provides with a huge bang for your buck on nutrition. The delicious, the nutrient dense, the satiating, it's hard to overeat them like it is to eat, overeat the processed foods. And that maybe we actually start trying to solve problems that don't actually exist. And that actually creates stress. And now we're back in you know, we're eating healthy, but we're getting all stressed out about it. And stress is stress is stress and everything's healthy until it's not. So sometimes maybe we just need to trust the process 
do the things that we need to do to validate our experience. And maybe that's blood work, or maybe that's trying time, doing less of this, doing more of this to see how your body feels, validating that through lab testing, if that's your jam. And also staying open and asking questions because that's what we're doing here as well. But our questions have led us to this idea that fruit and meat together is a is like a one-two combination that's very hard to beat. So how does that feel for you, Jeff? Does it, I know it doesn't answer your question, you know, in a very, uh, you know, defined way, but there's some threads to pull on there and also the invitation to listen again to how you look, how you feel, how you perform and what your body's telling you. Yeah, <clears throat> if I go off of just how I look, feel, and what my what my body's telling me, then uh, obviously, you know, I, I, think, I definitely think I'm eating the right things for me because uh, before I, I, you know, switched to animal animal based, I was eating still healthy, but uh, I was eating more grains and vegetables, and I, I'd look uh, and I look at my belly sometimes because I'm a I'm a very lean guy, but I'd, I'd have this bloated belly mm. uh, at nighttime. I, I'd, you know, that's when I'd I'd look at it and be like, what what the hell is going on here? Like uh, I can remember asking, asking my wife like, this can't be normal because mm. uh, like what like here I am eating, uh, you know, quote unquote healthy, but yet my my belly. Is, is protruding, which when you're a, a lean guy, it's not a good look. It, it's like, you, you know, your, your shirts don't fit good because, at the, you know, it's like your belly is kind of protruding a little bit, but yet you're, you're, you're lean. And um, so I, I, when I switched to animal base, eating the meat and fruit combo, that, that went away like immediately. And yeah. now like every, all my clothes, all my shirts fit perfectly cause my, because my stomach's never bloated. And uh, I'm, lean, I'm I'm as lean as can be, and it, I just feel really good. So, uh, you know, I wasn't really worried too much about it. It was just something I've, I've uh, you know, like in the beginning when I started to get into all this, it was something that I did read. Yeah, uh, I believe it was like it was in uh, uh, it was like Indi- Indian source, like something uh, like some other country was was like that, that discussed food combinations and yeah. like food timing, and you should only have fruit in the mo- like more. It's like you know stuff like that. I'm like you know. Yeah. Does, it, does it have to be that complicated, or can it just be as simple as uh, meat and fruit are nutrient dense, bio bioavailable foods, the best foods on the planet, and eating them in combination is totally fine because I don't feel any effects, and yeah. everyone is thriving on, on the animal based diet. So it's got to be, it can't be a bad thing. Yeah, I think you just answered the question better than I did, right? That it's it's natural, and sometimes we are trying to overthink a lot of this stuff, and again, that's where we potentially create problems and then attempt to solve them when they never existed in the first place. Look, the things, all the signs and symptoms yeah. are that you're moving in the right direction, and if that's the case, then you double down on that. But I'm curious, Jeff, I didn't hear you say any organs in the diet yet, so are you including any organs in the diet? We'd love to hear about that, because you know we're a big fan of those. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking uh, four of the supplements. The um, the kidney fat supplement. I'm taking the uh, the all the a whole package. Lovely. I'm taking the beef organs, and I'm taking uh, the heart. The um, the one from uh, what's his name, George. The, George uh, Saint Pierre. The heart supplement. Beautiful. Yes, yes. Uh, so I'm taking all four of those, and, and uh, you know, like I said, I'm feeling great and definitely thriving right now. Good man. Good man. That's it, Jeff. Let time take care of the rest. You just double down, my friend. Make the tweaks where they're appropriate, but don't fix what ain't broken. If it's working for you right now, just enjoy the ride because it's only going to get better. I promise you. You're going to be aging in reverse and feeling amazing. So keep being radical. Hello, friends. If you enjoyed that clip, then you can watch the entire thing by heading to this link over here, or you can find us wherever you find podcasts by searching Radical Health Radio. If there's value here, please hit that like button. Let us know in a comment what your biggest takeaway was and hit subscribe. Support the show as we support you. We'll see you soon.